Hey everyone, welcome to another Top 10 List. This week's Top 10 List is the Top 10 Fancy Serial Numbers that I found in circulation. Now, I've already uh, seen a couple people posting stuff on Fancy Serial Numbers and doing Fancy Fridays. Uh, I'm going to start in with Fancy Fridays if I haven't already. But I had the idea for this, this list given to me by JRAP170 well before Fancy Friday ever came up. So uh, not trying to copy that. Uh, JRAP170 was the one who suggested this to me about a month or so ago. And I finally got around to filming it. It just so happens that everybody else is starting to do Fancy Fridays. So all the better. All the more interest in fancies. Thank you JRAP170 for the suggestion. Let's take a look at what I've got. Number 10. Number 10 on the list, this one here is four pairs. You'll notice it's 22339966. So you've got four different pairs of numbers. And not only are the four pairs uh, different numbers, but they are also paired together. Um, so the two twos are right next to each other. The, the two threes are next to each other. The nines are next to each other. The sixes are next to each other. You don't have to try to invert your brain to try to figure out if this is a fancy or not. It is clearly four pairs, all the pairs side by side. That one is number 10 on my list. Number nine, a very similar note. This one is 00556677. So once again, you're talking four pairs, a pair of zeros, a pair of fives, a pair of sixes, a pair of sevens. One of the things that makes this one cool though is that these pairs are in order. They're in ascending order. Um, 0567. The other thing that makes this note extremely cool is right there. Yep, it's a star note. <laughs> if there's one thing, the, the coolest cool thing about finding fancies is how rare they are. It's even more rare to find a fancy on a star note. So yeah, not the most spectacular fancy just being four pairs, but by it being a star note, that makes it pretty cool. That one is number nine on the list. Number eight. Now, when I initially found this one, I called it an alternator because you have seven as the digit every other one. You've got one, seven, two, seven, three, seven, four, seven, but it's actually more of a two digit upward ladder. You've got 17, 27, 37, and 47. So you've got all the numbers in order like that, and they are ascending together. So that was pretty cool. I saw that, and like I said, initially I spotted the sevens as alternating, but seeing the ascending ladder to go with it made this one pretty cool as well. So that was number eight on my list. Number seven. This note here is bookends. It starts off 777, ends with 777, and it's got 8-9 in the middle. And if you'll notice, the uh, sevens on the end don't quite line up. This one is a little bit lower than these two are, or you could say these two are a little bit higher. Um, some people will look for stuff like that as well. That would be a gas pump error. Um, but this one is bookends. 777 starting the note, 777 ending the note with something in the middle like that. Once again, a note I did find in circulation, not in the greatest of shape, but when it comes to fancy serial numbers, you don't get a whole lot of choice. It's not like you can find another one with this particular number. So that one is number seven on the list. Right, 10, 9, 8, 7, yep. Number 6. Number 6 is another example of bookends. This one starts with 16 and ends with 16, and this one has all zeros in the middle. Now, if you're looking for bookends, this is the way you want to do it, with uh, all zeros in the middle like that. just makes the, the whole thing stand out, makes it quite obvious. Uh, the zeros make the note a little bit special. That's, that's the numbers that you want to see in the middle. Now, uh, as far as the other ends... Um, you know, 16, 16, yeah, that's kind of basic. But being short and sweet and to the point like that, it makes this very easy to spot. So that was number six on my list, going with the bookends. Number five. Number five went with a binary. This one is all sixes and sevens. Um, I checked and double-checked. It's not a repeater. It's not a radar. It's just a binary, a two-digit serial number, or a number, I should say, with only two different digits. That's the better way to put it. Sixes and sevens are the only numbers you're going to see on this particular serial number. Binaries are fairly tough to come by. Um, what makes them so tough is that they're easy to spot. So when they are out there in circulation, people tend to grab them right away. So it's much tougher to spot these. Well, it's easy to spot them, but it's much tougher to find them because most of them have been found. But they are out there in circulation. Uh, this was proof. This is one of the ones that I found. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Number 4. If we're talking binary, we might as well talk the one that everybody's actually looking for. 
this is a true binary. Now binaries, most people think of as a two digit serial number, but the binary code for computers is all zeros and ones. And that's where looking for binaries started. People were looking for notes that had all zeros and ones in their uh, serial number. This was actually the first binary I ever found. And I thought, oh, and it's all zeros and ones. This is easy. And 150,000 notes later, and I've not, never found another one. So yeah, I was extremely fortunate to stumble across this true binary. These are the binaries that will bring in some uh, substantial money compared to what a regular binary was. This is what people are looking for. So that is a true binary, all ones and zeros. Number three. Number three on the list. This is known as a radar. Now this one is a 0241. One four two zero. So you can see how the first four digits uh, go one direction, and then the last four digits are a repeat, just in the reverse order. So yeah, zero two four one one four two zero. The number reads the same forward and back. That's why it's called a radar. Radar also reads the same forward and back. R A D A R. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, these are notes that are highly in demand. Um, the the cooler the number the better if you can find some of these that would have uh uh like zero 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 one one zero 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 not only would that be uh not only would that be a binary but that would also be a super radar um there's there's a lot of different number combinations you can find on radars that are extremely tough to find uh that make them even more desirable than just your standard radar uh but this is what i've got <laughs> A standard Raynard 02411420. That's number three. Number two, the opposite of a radar. This is known as a repeater. This is when the first four digits match exactly to the last four digits. This one is 6000. So 6000, 6000. Um, the odds of finding one of these are approximately 1 in 10,000. Um, if you make this two four-digit numbers uh, and made those as big as possible, that would be 9999, right? Yep, 9999. So that would be basically 10,000. And whatever number you put here, there are 10,000 combinations that can go here, which makes this a 1 in 10,000 event of finding a note similar to this, where the first four match the last four exactly. Now this particular one's kind of neat because you're talking it's a binary and it's a repeater like that, so that's something you don't see too often. So this one is probably in a lot higher demand than most of your repeaters are. Um, so this is definitely one of my favorite notes that I've found in circulation. So that one's number two. Number one on my list. For number one, now you guys have seen me search notes and you see me pull out trinaries and you see me pull out quads and, and save notes that don't seem to be worth a whole lot of money and there isn't really any extra value in in trinaries and and some of the other stuff but i always tell you that i do that because i'm looking to find two notes with the exact same serial number now i haven't done it still haven't found it yet but this is as close as i've ever come and these numbers will show you why i found this in circulation it has seven ones in a row, and it ends with the number four. So you've got one, 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 four. So that is seven of a kind, uh, seven in a row. Not only seven in a row, but seven of a kind. Uh, I've come up with seven of a kind a couple times, but seeing seven in a row doesn't happen very often at all. Um, why this is number one is because I also have a $20 bill that is one away, also found in circulation. One, 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 five. So this one is 15 on the 20. This one is 14. So close to two bills with the exact same serial number, uh, but yet so far. Either way, they are still very cool because they are both seven in a row, and seven in a row is an extremely difficult feat to find. Um, the only thing that's tougher would be a solid if that was a one. Uh, it would have been really neat to have the strap that these came out of because then all of those would have at least six in a row in it and you'd have the entire of seven, of seven in a row and you'd have the solid as well. So that's number one on my list, the two seven, of a row, seven in a rows that are one away from each other, my 14 and my 15. 
So that's what I've got for you guys this week, my top 10 fancy serial numbers that I've found in circulation. I want to thank JRAP170 for giving me the idea. I just wish I would have acted on it a little bit sooner, but uh, so, such is life. <laughs> guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next week.